Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you are ready for the hotness that we're gonna talk about today. All my little nudists out there, we're talking about the nudity collection from Virago Varnish. Do you guys love a great nude polish? Are you looking for some that are good in just one coat? Slap them on, one coat, you're good to go with your perfect nude polish. That's what this collection is all about. So, Virago Varnish put together six shades that I was able to get all opaque in one coat, and that was making me so super duper happy. I love Virago Varnish. They come out with some really amazing polish. Usually they're blowing my mind because of their color combinations, their super awesome glitters, their holographics, but these ones are stunning me for the quality of formula, making them nice and opaque and easy to apply, just buttery, creamy, and then the perfectly picked out colors, you're gonna love them. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start out with the two polishes that are meant for the lighter skin tones first. I do wanna make sure and point out though that I'm positive that what the brand is not doing is saying if you have light skin, you can only wear these polishes or if you have darker skin, you can only wear these polishes. They're just suggesting some shades that would probably go well for your skin tone. I fully intend on wearing all of them. So I just wanna go ahead and point that out because I'm positive they're not trying to do like a whole stay within the lines kind of thing. No, it's just a fun suggestion. So let's get into it. The first two polishes are called Bare and Skin and I am wearing Bare today. Does it look like my bare skin? I don't know, actually, this looks like a khaki taupe to me, like the perfect khaki taupe jacket, like, mm, so good. Okay, let's start swatching it. So Bare is just, as you can see, so good at one coat, such a nice, light color that they were able to get so opaque at just one pass. I just, it floored me. The shade is just totally on trend right now. I can think of a few, you know, OPI polishes that are maybe trying to be similar to this, but honestly, they can't even get close with formula. So definitely loved Bare. Next up, we're gonna look at the polish called Skin. And so this one is different from Bare in that it's slightly more ivory toned. Um, it definitely has less brown in it. Um, also super beautiful. How did they get such a nice light shade done in just one coat? I don't know, but I think it's a must have. The two polishes that are categorized for the medium skin tones are called Exposed and Omit, but these I think are some of the Funnished shades in the collection. We've got kind of a camely tan and then definitely a lilac tinted nude. So super duper interesting. Okay, let's talk about exposed. This is the lilac tinted one. Again, such a great formula. I mean, perfect for me. This is just right up my alley. I mean, you do a couple drops of purple into a nude polish and hello, my new favorite nude. I just thought this was beautiful. I just never wanted to take this off. Thank you for the gorgeous formula, Virago Varnish. Um, yes, please. Next up we have Omit, and that is the camel color. And this is not like a harsh camel. This is very, you know, it's a lightened camel. It's like a light-hearted camel. Going towards a tan, it's definitely tan with a lot of yellow in it. I love this, even though I don't have a lot of yellow in my skin you know, in my skin tone. This just goes to show that you really just wear what you like, right? And I really am liking the interesting nature of this polish and the great formula. All right, and then we're down to the last two and these are the perfect nudes for darker skin tones, so to speak. These are rich and chocolatey and just so good, oh my goodness. Okay, so this first one is called Disrobed and this one is the more gray toned of the last two, not quite as not quite as chocolatey, but you can still see it in there. This one is also, um, you know, I guess a little bit, it's almost like a deeper, sexier version of the lighter gray taupey, you know, shade that I have on here. This is the um, wiser, sexier sister. <laughs> I really like this one, another impeccable formula. It's so, so good. All right, very last up, I'm sad to say, this is Unclad, and this one is a little bit chocolatier. I do see some, um, you know, some kind of bluish tones in here. It's almost like there is, an, again, in this one, a little drop of purple or something. This is so gorgeous. I love this so much. You know, obviously this is not the perfect nude for my complexion, but this is a perfect polish for me. I love it so much. Um, yeah, this is just stunning. 
Alright guys, so there you have it, all six polishes applied on my nails so you can see how they go on and not just have to take my word for it of how gorgeous these are and how easily they apply. I will, as always, link in the description bar where you can purchase these. These were sent to me for review, but you guys should know by now, I always tell you straight up 100% what I think about these polishes. And there's really no hiding anything when I show you the live application anyway. So I hope this helped you. These are going to be releasing August 26th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard. I let you guys know to set your watches for those Chromium Desert collections. This isn't another, like, um, limited release, but make sure you hop on these and get the ones that you want. I don't want you missing out. Thank you for spending some of your day with me today. Let me know in the comments which nudie polish was your favorite one in the nudity collection. I will see you back for my next review. Take care until then. Bye. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to use this coat because 10, I'm going to use 10 because 10 is more awesome. I'm going to I'm doing my own nails and I'm going to use all of these colors.